This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. We got markets on Friday, folks, coming into July 4th weekend. We are accelerating higher uh, to somewhat recent highs. s and is just below that price level right now in terms of where we were. That's a weekly. Let's put it back to a daily. We're charging higher to 44.78, recent highs of about 44.93 in the s and P's. back on June 16th. S&P's up by just shy of 1% right now. NASDAQ trading higher. NASDAQ up 1.5%. 15,320, about 120, 150 points, I should say, from the highs that we had recently, June 16th as well. Dow right now up 200 points. You see the divergence, right? Highs in the Dow, you're going back all the way on this chart, back to December. Didn't quite get up to that level on June 16th like the other markets. And the Russell, talk about a different story there, but charging higher as well, up by 7 tenths percent. Crude, above $70, $70.37. We got some inflation data this morning. We'll get over to in a moment. You get the gold contract up by $3 at 1921. And yeah, you jump to notes and bonds. The 10 year flat at 112.04. Let's look at a little bit of volatility this morning. Yesterday, you trade lower, lower price, higher yield. Today, we get a little bit of a spike, and then you give it up, though. 112.04 right now in the 10 year. As you are flat, you jump over to the VIX. Do we got a 12 handle yet? Not so much. We're sitting at about 13.45 in this market, coming into the long weekend. Talking about, excuse me, those inflation numbers. The headline, inflation cools, spending, sta spending stagnates as economy loses steam. So you got the PCE, the personal consumption expenditure out this morning. That's the Fed's preferred inflation gauge. Here are the numbers. PCE, month over month, 0.1%. The core PCE, a little bit more important what the Fed looks at, take out food and energy, up 0.3% month over month, exactly in line. Core PCE year over year, slightly under the estimate of 4.7% in real consumer spending, flat when they were looking for a little bit of a rise. The market, they take those numbers, man, and they run with it as the market. Look at this market, 44.80 in the S&Ps. And we got to talk about Apple, folks. First time ever, we got a $3 trillion company. You jump over to the Analyze tab on the Thinkorswim platform, market cap, $3.023 trillion for Apple. Stay tuned, folks. We got programming on Friday. Have a great weekend out there. Have a safe weekend. And as I said, be careful, folks. If you're having some cocktails at a barbecue, order up an Uber. It's too easy not to. And we'll see you back in Wednesday. Stay tuned, folks.